um, and I live in Brisbane, Australia, where the sun is off its chops. I used to take myself out on dates, open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Testing, I haven't done this in a very long time. Hi, this feels a bit weird, doesn't it? All right, hello guys. It has been a hot minute and I emphasize the huh in that since I have done a makeup video. I, let me actually check. Um, when's the last time that I did a makeup video? I think it was my glow up routine. So hi, if you've never seen me before, it's been a while since I've done a makeup video because we've been on the weekly vlog grind, all right? My weekly vlog is definitely my favorite type of content that I've ever done, if that makes sense. Like I enjoy it the most out of everything that I've done on my channel. So like from starting out way back in 2016, 17, doing makeup and actually some fitness content to hauls and beauty to kind of lifestyle and following my weird life around, you know? So today I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine. It's definitely drastically changed from how I used to do it back in like 2000, 2000? It's definitely changed even from like the beginning of this year. I've probably been doing kind of this type of makeup since my glow up routine. And I feel like this suits me the most. It's already getting hot in here. Should I have full length leggings on? Probably not. I'm gonna take my pants off. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> pants are off. Yeah, and I get so many questions from you guys asking the makeup that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis or what I wear in my selfies or videos, whatever. I pretty much do the same makeup every single time. I've honestly been really, not lazy when it comes to makeup. I've just stuck with the products that I really, really love. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. My skin is not looking too crash hot. This is definitely a flare up. So let's film a makeup video when my skin's having a flare up, shall we? Most of us don't have perfect skin, so it's probably a good thing, actually. Let's not get makeup on my shirt. I hope you can hear me. I'm filming on my vlogging camera, and I've just clipped my hair up. Like, I don't know if that looks right. I feel like I can't do this hairstyle because my hair is too thick. Now, I've got all my favorite products that I kind of rotate between, and I'm going to talk about them. So, like, if I use one foundation, I'll show you the other couple that I really, really love. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, but, yeah, before I jump into the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's just Connor underscore cat. We're getting close to 60K over there, which is a bit exciting. I feel like we just hit 50. This top, by the way, before anyone asks, is from Beginning Boutique. So, I'm probably going to get makeup on it, but... I'm just gonna hope that I don't, so. I have already moisturized my face. Um, I'm gonna go in with this Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. So this is a sunscreen. Um, I haven't actually used this before, so I'm very excited. I love the brand Claire's. This is from the website Wish Trend. Everyday Sun Protector, the soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVB, UVB. Um, and it's a water-based sunscreen, which is nice. So it's not gonna make me like break out let me zoom in shall we that's the way siri you weren't asked oh this feels very nice haven't ever like filmed a makeup video with my fringe that feels divine i'm literally gonna put some on my hands so they don't look so crusty um i pretty much always wear sunscreen on a day-to-day -day basis because it's super important to protect your skin um and i live in brisbane australia where the sun is off its chops that feels divine. Alrighty, so normally on a day-to-day -day basis, do I prime? Not really, but some days I do, and my favorite primer ever is the Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer. I definitely also use this on special occasions or if I'm like going out, but it is definitely, definitely nice. You might have to take out a small loan to get it, but it's it's really nice. And it lasts forever. Like I got this ages ago, and it's not even like done because you need the tiniest bit so i'm just gonna pop that there i kind of focus it like where my pores are also please excuse my nails i'm trying to like let them grow because i love my long nails but honestly since i go to the gym so often five inch long nails just don't cut it <laughs> funnily enough and obviously i could go a bit shorter but um i don't know i feel like my nails just need a break the only thing is i have a very 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 bad habit of picking the skin around my nails <laughs> Track. I have done my whole life. It is a habit that is like deeply ingrained in me and I want to change it more than anything, but I'm not there yet. So I have ugly fingers and 
terrible fake tan. Great day to film this. Okay, so that's on there. Looking nice. So for foundation, I have three that I pretty much rotate between. I love the, ooh, this is like a bit empty. This is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. This is in the shade C3. It's a pretty good match for my tan. Probably could be a hair darker sometimes. Like I think for a fresh tan, it's probably a bit light for me, but like today, it's probably all right. This is a very, very sheer foundation. I would have despised this when I had really bad acne, but it is so, so nice. It glides on like an absolute dream. It looks so beautiful, so natural. It's the perfect foundation to take with you like on holidays. If you're a fake tanner like me, and you wanna match your neck to your face, it's great for that. Super watery, very light coverage, but also gives coverage, I don't know. So I love that. I also love these bad boys. Um, they're very dirty. Every time I wear this foundation, I get so many questions asking me what the foundation is. It's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. It's beautiful. I usually mix these two shades. Um, one is like, especially if I have a really dark tan. One is Tawny M4, the other one, is that how you say it? Yeah. And then the other one is Classic Tan M3. I feel like that's a pretty good match for me. It's really cheap. You can get it from Chemist Warehouse. It's just stunning. It has a really great coverage. It's got SPF 18. I wouldn't wear this at nighttime because it has SPF. So, so beautiful. And then of course, my favorite foundation of like all time is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I've been mixing the shades beige and golden tan because I'm, I'm a bit of a mixer if you couldn't tell. This is like my favorite foundation ever. It looks so flawless. It's actually super fast too to use on a daily basis. Like if I want to throw on my makeup in like five, 10 minutes, I will grab this bang, 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 blend it out. It's like done really quickly because sometimes when you have like a liquid foundation, you can be fiddling around with it too much and it just takes a little bit like extra time. So this is like my favorite foundation ever. Hella expensive, but it's gorgeous. It's, I love it. So today I'm trying to think, what do I want to use? But these are the three foundations that I'm pretty much faithful to. I kind of want to use my MAC face and body because I haven't used it in a little bit. And then if I need more coverage around these little guys, I might do so. So you want to shake this up because it is very, very liquidy. And then I literally just do this. Is this the most hygienic thing? No, but it's my foundation, so. And then I kind of spread it around because it is so liquidy. Probably should have brought a um, towel. One thing that I haven't been doing is using a beauty blender. I don't use a beauty blender anymore. This is my favorite foundation brush. It's by e.l.f. I got it when I was in Canada. It looks like this. It needs to be washed, but I'm just gonna kind of buff that in. Zoom in a little bit. But like instantly, is this gonna match? I think it'll be all right, because my tan's kind of faded. It just blends out like a dream. Like in the summertime, this will probably be my go-to foundation because I can take like a little bit, pop it all over, gives me enough coverage, but not too much at the same time. So, like you can see how liquidy it is there. And it's literally just like water. Turn that in. But like, even though it's super light coverage, I feel like you can tell it just looks really nice. And it never looks cakey, ever. Like it just doesn't, and I don't know how. I might go in with some of the hourglass just because it might be a little bit too light today. This foundation's also super fast to blend out as well. It just never looks bad on my skin. Like I can put too much of the hourglass, I can put too much of any foundation, but this just never looks bad. Like I literally just buff it in at a million miles an hour and it looks great. So smooth, it's beautiful. What I am gonna do is take a little bit of golden tan from hourglass just to kind of bring some, a little bit more coverage and color down here because I find that my foundation comes off in that area. I don't always do this, it's just because I'm filming and I'm gonna stamp Blends out like a dream. And I usually put it on my ears just because I don't want to have white ears. Sometimes I don't use concealer. I would just take like a lighter colored powder and use that to like highlight under my eyes. I love the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Almond, great concealer. I also love the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. 
This is in the shade Light. And then an oldie but a goodie. As I like to say, the Ancient Rewind. <laughs> this is the Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. I think I'm going to use the Age Rewind today. Sometimes if I can't be bothered to put on foundation, I'll just put a little bit of like the shade 130 all over my face. And it kind of works as a foundation. This is in the shade 120. And I'm going to put like a little bit under here. I don't do much concealer at all anymore. I feel like most people aren't doing that. Like it's not on trend anymore to put a whole bunch of concealer. And then I take, this is a Morphe M427 brush. Cause yeah, I don't really use beauty blenders. Like I just can't be bothered. And I've found that I don't need to. So I love this brush. Like it just blends out straight away. Put a little bit on my eyelid and that's it. On my chin a bit. I don't really like heavy concealer under my eyes. One, because it looks cakey. Two, I don't really need heavy concealer under there. Like I don't, I'm blessed to not really have two um, intensive eye bags. And on the forehead. And like, you can still see my breakouts coming through, but I don't mind that at all. Like I don't, I'm not fussed on having absolute coverage everywhere. And then I'm gonna take my foundation brush. My memory card's getting full. And kind of blend the edges and that is foundation concealer done all right so i don't have like a set order with my makeup but now i'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer which is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in radiant bronze light love this bronzer I feel like everyone does i also love the Too faced sweethearts bronzer kind of similar like when you look at them and i literally just switched up between the two today i'm gonna use the hourglass and then it used to be like adamant like only using matte shades in my crease um but now i really actually like using the hourglass bronzer because it is kind of shimmery and it kind of gives my eyelids like a little bit of sheen and it looks really pretty like my general theme of my makeup hasn't changed but i literally just take a bronzer pop that in the crease kind of go over my eyelid as well and that's it <laughs> It's always funny when people are like, what is your makeup routine? Like, what are you doing? And it's like, literally this. Some days I will switch up the bronzer. I hardly ever use eyeshadow palettes now. Like even, like, yeah, I had my shoot that I did for Rockstar Salon the other day. I did this exact thing. I put bronzer in my crease. That was it. Sometimes I might do a bit more, like put, you know, some different colors in, put some dimension, but I just, I don't know. I feel the prettiest when I have like less on my face, I suppose, even though this is not less, but right. So for under the eyes, I don't really set it with powder. I'm just gonna blend out this crease. What I do do though, is I take my bronzer and I blend it quite far down my eyes. Since this is a very warm toned bronzer, I feel like it makes my green eyes pop. So let me just blend, like I literally just go ham. And I bring it down quite far because I find that it kind of acts as a setting agent for my under eye. Like it just kind of sits in that crease. And then I find I don't need to put powder down there. It's great. So yeah, I do it quite blown out. Whoa, I look like it's a bit crazy at the moment because it's only on my eyes. I'm going to move on to my face. Sometimes I set my face, sometimes I don't. Since it is getting warmer, I'm probably going to lean towards the yes side. The two powders that I switch up between are MAC Medium Tan Mineralized Skin Finish Classic. Very nice setting powder for just like all over the face that's not too intense, but like it's just going to set. Or if I want something a bit more heavy duty, I like the Benefit Hello Happy Powder Foundation. So this is a powder foundation. It's got much more coverage. This is in the shade 6. Today, I think I'm going to use the Mineralized Skin Finish. I probably need this in a different color as well, just because this one's quite dark but I'm just gonna put a little bit on big brush and I kind of more so just focus it like around the edges of my face because I don't want the powder on my under eye and I don't need it on my under eye either just a touch and yeah like I'm not fussed on my skin peeking through on to bronzer I'm gonna use the hourglass I switch up the brushes that I use like sometimes I'll use a brush like this sometimes I will use a brush like this sometimes I'll use a brush like this this obviously gives you more like intense and precise or precision should I say I'm gonna use the real techniques one today it's just my favorite I'm just bronze up my face I try not to go too like ham with this so I don't want to look like I have a foot on my face but I love a bronzy look, especially now that we're heading into summer soon. Forehead. I'm very messy with it. Like, I feel like this bronzer just does all the work for you. I know this is probably 
not how Robert Walsh would do it, but it's all right. And I put some down my neck as well. And then I also kind of go like this on my nose. I don't know why. I'm probably making it look bigger, but take my powder brush and just kind of make sure there's no weird edges. And then for blush, my favorite blush of the moment has been the NYX Ombre Blush. This is in the color Strictly Chic. It's like a peachy pink, but it has like gold reflex in it because it's an ombre. It's stunning. And I apply it with a Morphe M404 brush. So it's like a duo fiber. And I mix it all together. And I go ham with the blush. And I put it, I used to be like all about putting it here, but I try and put it up here. Like I almost apply it like a bronzer. Blush isn't for everyone. I love it. I love it. So I kind of, yeah, put it up here. A little bit on the apples of my cheeks as well. But literally into my temple. I love the blush look. And blush fades really quickly anyway. So if you think you've gone a bit crazy, like in an hour's time, you'll be right. And then I find that this almost acts like a highlighter as well. Whoop. Camera's overheating. Hang on. Ooh, baby, I love you. Oh my god. Elite Sups, side note, have just come out with like a nerd flavored fat burner nerds were my favorite they were up there with like my favorite lolly as a kid nerds oh yum all right so as i was applying 300 layers of blush to my face i think i'm gonna leave it here <laughs> um actually no i'm gonna put some on my nose i love blush on the nose especially i mean all year round it just is the cherry on top of the cake for me i love it and then sometimes i even take my blush brush and i kind of like dust it over my eyelids because of that one video of Doja Cat where she puts blush in her like eyeshadow. Stunning. All right. Now, as you can probably tell, my eyebrows are laminated at the moment. So I pretty much can brush them in any direction and they stay like that. Even when they're not laminated, I still, I haven't been filling them in just because I don't know. I just much prefer them like bushy. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, that's fine. But like, oh, when they're laminated, like they're freshly laminated, so, so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of brow gel through them. This is the Emco Magic Brows in Blonde. I probably need a darker shade just cause blonde's very, very ashy. But I'm just gonna put like a tiny, tiny bit through. Plus, since my brows are like freshly tinted, but I just put a bit of brow gel through just to kind of hold them in place, even though they won't really go anywhere. So I've just got like a spoolie and I just kind of brush them through. I just love that brushed up fluffy look. Um, most days I don't like do anything else to my eyes. Sometimes like today I'm gonna take, this is just like a ColourPop palette. I will go in with like a light eyeshadow just to highlight the brow bone just to kind of define it a little bit. So I just put like a light eyeshadow here. It actually makes such a difference. Like it just is like cherry on top of the cake. And I kind of pack it on there like that. And I kind of just buff out that edge a little bit. I'm sorry if you can hear the hot water. It's annoying, just like so. And then we're nearing the end, folks. I don't really apply highlighter. I haven't been into wearing highlighter for a while now, which is insane because I used to be so all about the highlight. But what I am obsessed with is this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I feel like this gives me all the highlight that I need. And I've had this for ages and it's still going strong. So I'm going to apply some of this. I may not want to apply this when it gets hotter. Like I might be more inclined to use like the matte setting spray. And then my sweat will do the rest of it. I just think it looks a bit more natural when I don't use highlighter. Then that in. Usually, like nine times out of ten, unless I accidentally forget, I put on the setting spray before I do mascara. Um, just so I can kind of minimize the transfer effect because my mascara kept on transferring and I was like, why is this happening? And so I decided to start doing my setting spray first and then mascara and it fixed it straight away. So I switch up my mascaras all the time. But what I have been obsessed with lately is the NARS like Climax mascara. And I don't apply too much. I do have a lash lift at the moment and I literally just apply a little tiny bit. Some days I will go a lot more ham, but most days I just do like a little bit. That my friends, pretty much completes my everyday makeup routine. I've got like lip glosses in my bag, but half the time I don't really wear lip gloss or like a lip product. Like I might pop on a lip balm, but I just rock my natural lips. Like I don't really, the only time I put on like lip gloss or like is if I'm going out somewhere. But this is my everyday makeup. 
guys. And you can kind of see the glow from that setting spray. Like I don't need highlighter. Get the eye goobers out. So yeah, this is the makeup that I pretty much wear in like all my selfies or like in my vlogs. If I pop on a face of makeup, this is probably what I would do. And it's a combination of those products right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I have been getting so many quests to do like a makeup video or my everyday makeup routine. So I hope you did enjoy it. Yeah, that's pretty much it from me. It feels so weird to be doing this. I feel like I'm out of place. But as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!